Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Uh, yesterday there was a magnitude 5.2 earthquake off the coast of California near Petrolia, California. Uh, 1,886 people responded and said they felt this earthquake. It was felt over a very large area. Um, here we got all the way up to uh, Grant's Parks it looks like. Um, Rogue River, um, Cisco National Forest, um, yeah, up there in Oregon. And we'll come down here. Down the coast, um, Calusa. Huh, <sighs> Lord, can you say earthquakes in diverse places? Uh, Stewart's Point, loud bangs, then pounding and movement that increased over time. Things fell off shelves, pictures, crooked, etc. Swaying ceiling light. Two hard shakes. Uh, what else we got here? Two hard shakes, minimal falling objects. Uh, lasted about five to seven seconds. Substantial shaking on the second floor of the building. Uh, 20 seconds, 25 miles away, bumping, shaking, no immediate damage. Rattling everything in my house, didn't last long. Felt, felt really hard at General Hospital in Cutter, Eureka. A lot of movement on the second floor. Old Victorian house in Eureka, uh, near St. Joe's. Spilled my tea all over my desk, rattled windows. It scared me. I went under the table. So much stuff was shaking. Strong jolt. Lasted a few seconds. Knocked some water out of my fish tank. Wow, that's some sloshing. Um, McKinleyville, it says there. 74 kilometers from Epicenter. That would be about 46 miles. Um, I was just about to sit down. The awning over the patio made a funny creaking. Then the chair started to wiggle. Uh, didn't feel anything in Fort Bragg. That was 111 kilometers. Shook the, the house quite a bit. Second time in a month. Yeah. Here's the location of that earthquake. We'll bring it out. We got Devil's Gate. Devil's Gate. Uh, Muscle Rock. See, Lion Rock, Christmas Rock. Okay, and this is along... Yeah, the Mendocino Triple Junction. Yeah, things are increasing around the world. Uh, this goes into the San Andreas Fault. And then up here to the Cascadia Fault. You're overdue for a large earthquake. And 2020 will probably see that devastating earthquake that everyone is hoping never happens. There has been quite a few aftershocks. Um, a 2.0, a 1.7, a 2.3, a 1.8. 1 1.9, 2.4, 2.0, 2.3, 1.7, um, a 2.0. It looks like they downgraded it to a 5.2. Automatic by the computer, 5.39. 5.93. 5.93. Yeah, I would say it was larger. I would say they downgraded it. What else we got here? 5.62. 5.70. Yeah, are you prepared? Do you have um, a tsunami um, escape route? Are you prepared to be cut off from uh, communication and emergency services? Uh, 5.72. What else we got here? 5.59. 5.71. 5.80. Yep. Yep, I really believe that God is talking to the people with um, the plagues, you know, the coronavirus, um, the locusts, uh, the economy. There's been so much that's gone on this year alone. Hard to remember what it is because each event seems to be getting worse and worse. So, what are your thoughts? Oh, and let's not forget about the asteroid that's supposed to pass by tonight. 
at about 11.13 p.m. East Coast time. Um, it's supposed to go through our atmosphere, according to uh, NASA, and create an airburst. Um, the Russian um, airburst, now that one was 66 feet across. This one's closer to 95 to 100 feet across. Yeah, I told my daughter I was going to do the laundry, at least catch up on the laundry in case something does happen. You know, the old Boy Scout motto, always be prepared. So if we do lose power, just in case, I am prepared. Um, yeah, at least I'll have everything washed. Yeah, the earthquakes are increasing around the world. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe. Um, always be prepared for some sort of disaster. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.